This is a video of me removing bees from a maple tree in the backyard of a house in downtown Portland. Here I'm adding just a little bit of smoke to the hive to try to keep the bees a little bit calm. Here I am starting in with the chainsaw, trying to cut an opening large enough that I can pull out the brood and the comb and also that I can get in there with my bee back and suck up as many bees as I can. Here I am starting in with the bee vac. This is an apparatus that just sucks the bees in real gently and puts them right into a hive. And you just move that home and set it in the yard when you're done. Here we're starting to expose the comb. I'm trying to suck up as many bees as I can with the vacuum. This is the vac here, the shop vac that goes into a hive. They suck in the bottom of it. Here I'm removing some of the comb, vacuum off a few of the bees, and then I put it into a hive frame and rubber band it in, in place. Still a lot of bees in there. I don't know how high up it goes into here. I'm hoping it just goes to about in there. But it definitely goes higher than what I've cut right now. So just kind of pulling out the comb, trying to save as much brood as I can, sucking up the bees as we go. Not sure if there's a queen in here. I do see um, larva. Let's see if those bees move there. There is larva in there. Um, however, the workers will lay drone larva too, so it's hard to say what that is. I'm hoping it's actually a queen right queen right colony. Anyway, back to work. Oh wait, I'll show you here. There's a bucket of bucket of comb there that doesn't have any brood in it. And then I'm trying to fasten the brood into this hive with rubber bands or whatever I can do and those bees are in there keeping it warm so things are going alright Okay, we're still at the bee tree. I don't know what time it is, but uh, we're getting further up in here. I've cut a little more up in here. 
goes up quite a ways in there, a lot further than I thought it did. I found some swarm cells. I'll try to show you here. Um, if you can see right. Right there, that little uh, that little peanut looking thing. That's a swarm cell, so there's a new queen in there. There's actually another one right there, I think. Yeah. Decided to put my gloves on. They were uh, hiding around the back sides of the combs as I was trying to pull them out of there. So. Anyway, that's what it looks like inside of a bee tree. Put my hand in there and it's super warm. It's I think they're, they keep them at 95 or whatever and it actually feels like that right inside of there. It's, it's toasty in there. So Anyway, we're going to set up the camera and get back to work. Here I am pulling a nice section of uh, brood comb out and looking it over to see if I could happen to spot the queen. Here you can see how gentle the vacuum actually does pull them off of the comb. It just barely sucks them in there and they just kind of kind of directs them into the hive. You can also get a real good look at uh, some swarm cells here um, as the vacuum passes over them. All right, here we are. <clears throat> Finally got them out. Ended up uh, going that high. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me get up here close and show you what the inside of a bee tree looks like. There up there. Let's see if I can reach. Yeah, I can just touch that. So that's probably seven feet to that. Um, actually, it's probably eight, I guess, because I'm, yeah, it's probably eight feet. Climb up here on the ladder a little bit. Luckily, the homeowner had a ladder because I did not think this thing was this tall. I cut an observation window in here just to kind of see what I could uh, see how high it went up in here it actually ends up going about about right up in here I could reach up and pull the rest of the uh, comb out it was all honey from about about here up was all um, honey everything else down in there was the brood nest um, which is kind of how they do it I guess in our hives too they put the brood on the bottom and the uh, honey on the top so there's a couple of little bees wondering where their home went but uh, I was able to get most of them again this turned out to be way bigger of a job than what I thought it was gonna be which I guess is pretty typical but uh, here they are what I've got is on the bottom there is just empty frames where I sucked all the bees in. The top of this is uh, where I rubber banded the brood nest into empty frames. So there were still a few bees flying around. Um, I mean, not flying around, but they were in there uh, covering the brood, keeping them warm and stuff. Um, and then I added the, the bottom deep of bees that I had just kind of sucked up with the vacuum so hopefully they'll crawl up on there and uh, everybody will get along fine. There's one on my jacket still. Um, got stung on the foot and once on the finger so 
It's not too bad considering how big of a job this was, I don't think. There you can see the ladder there. I'll back up and get some perspective. There it is. It's about uh, 10 after 12. I started this job a little bit after 8 o'clock, so um, big job. I'm going to see if the homeowner will... Uh, this tree is coming down, by the way, um, because it was obviously rotten in the center. There's another one right here that she's going to take down also. Um, but uh, I'm going to talk to her and see if I can... She'll let me have that stump that has all those... A beehive in it. I think that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, this is my day. Oh, here, hang on. There's a bucket full of uh, honeycomb, kind of. Some of it's uncapped, some of it's capped. Probably some bees in there robbing stuff. And here is a box full of comb. Um, this is mainly old comb, maybe some comb that they... Uh, had emptied out or were getting ready to fill up with brood. I'm not sure. It was hanging off the bottom part of the nest, way down by the opening there. Um, I'm guessing it's just in a leftover space. Some of it is uh, drone comb, too. You can see there um, some swarm cells. So it's just kind of anything that wasn't capped brood that I didn't keep is in that box. So, All right, I'm going to clean up.